you can use at that point. All right, it has been 10 minutes uh, since this was supposed to start at least, so let us, let us get started here. Um, can we, let me... Oh God, this is, my computer's not having a ton of fun here. All right, here we go. So, quiz, who launched Monero? Question one, is it Satoshi Nakamoto, Nicholas von Saberhagen, Thankful for Today, or Ricardo, Fluffy Pony, Spogny? Again, what is the best answer here? Again, you need to get your questions in uh, for about a five second delay that you're accounting for. I'm actually seeing it, it's closer to six seconds actually of the delay. So, um, oh God, I selected the wrong answer there. Woo! <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay, sorry about that. The correct answer is actually thankful for today. Diego taught you on that. Okay, so uh, ignore the three, people that actually got that incorrect. Oops. <laughs> Apparently wrong answers all the year. Yeah, I, I'm really just, uh, I'm really just teasing everyone here. Yes, that was a very tricky answer. <laughs> I may have made these questions last night when I was uh, preemptively testing out the Monero uh, happy hour. So apologies there. I don't expect there to be other mistakes, but obviously I should have known the actual answer to that question. People saying they couldn't see the actual question. The, qu the actual question will be on the screen, uh, the live stream, sorry. So you will need to look at the live stream while you are, um, while you're participating. So apologies there. We gave some extra points to people who did not deserve them and we uh, did not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, well, who knows? Maybe maybe selecting a random answer will be your, your, the appropriate way to win this trivia session. Question two, what aspect of Monero does a so-called Janus attack deal with? Is it ring signatures, timing metadata, sub addresses, or network metadata? Again, hopefully I have all the correct answers selected for this one. All right. Luckily, I selected the correct answer here this time. It is sub addresses. The Janus attack is most concerned with sub addresses because it allows people to potentially reveal whether or not sub addresses are linked to a specific entity if an attacker tries to craft a transaction in a very specific way and is in an eight, sorry, and is able to interact with the recipient to receive a confirmation. So there absolutely are many ways that uh, this can be mitigated in addition to you just not interacting with people in certain ways, but there are also some protocol changes that are being suggested uh, for the next protocol update in order to better uh, address the so-called Janus attack in Monero. There is a breaking Monero episode about the Janus attack on this channel. If you wanna check that later, there is also a blog post right up on the Git Monero website. So let's see uh, who got that one correct. Fishy got the last one correct also. So they're, they're, they're sort of in first place without uh, necessarily deserving that, that treatment yet, but hopefully they get to earn it here in the future. Corgi yet dad uh, still staying up since uh, the last question that got correct. And then XR, XMR spy making their way up. Jay Winterm, nice to see you making your way on the board here. Let's see how things go on in the next uh, few questions here. Question three, what is a Monero EAE attack? What is it best described as? 
Is it a fictional attack since Monero is 100% private? Is it when someone receives and sends funds from and to colluding attackers? When someone splits the Monero network in a fork to reduce privacy? Or is it a social attack to compromise users' wallets? What is the best answer here? Wow, most people got this one. We have some really smart cookies in the chat here. Yes, it is, as the name sort of implies, E-A-E. -E. It was in the simplest form a way for, our, for like an exchange sending funds to a user who sends funds to another colluding exchange who is then able to learn information about Monero, Monero transactions, so E-A-E. -E. I mean, some people say E-A-B-E, -E. Uh, other researchers have different names for it, but E-A-E -E is, is the simplest way to get the point across and is what is most commonly referred to. Um, sometimes it, these are all generally related attacks. So, you know, again, there's different nuances on how it can specifically be applied, but in general, it's all following the same line of thought uh, that, that gets us there. Yeah, as Ricardo was saying in the chat, it's actually E A E B B E A A E B E A E E E A A B B E E B E. Yes. So, point is, you're going to hear for another 30 years someone adding another E, A, B, or whatever, some additional letter to this, and they're going to call it a brand new revolutionary attack. It's, uh, it's the same application of, of, of course, the same idea. So uh, E, A, E. <laughs> All right, next question here. And if you are still joining, you, uh, if you're joining now, you can still join by going to the hoot.it and using the game pin 9967836 in the lower left-hand corner there. Again, 15 minutes before the next coffee chat. First place, Fishy. They're killing it. XMR Spy, Soup Binary Fate, Arctic Mine, making their way well up the board. And Fluffy Homie made their way up 19 places. So good for them to make their way up. Uh, as a quick reminder, you get extra points by answering quickly. So uh, answer. <laughs> Auto-tune that. Okay, you, you need to do that, Doug. All right. Question four. CL SAGs are a more efficient form of what than ML SAGs? Are they ring signatures, confidential amounts slash bulletproofs, stealth addresses, or seal SAGs are actually less efficient than ML SAGs in most cases? Again, remember there's about a six second delay. So make sure you get those answers in uh, with plenty of time to spare. And if you are in the coffee chat right now, don't cheat by using Jitsi, okay? You don't need your back door into faster uh, faster answer results as they come in. I will know. Okay, so again, most people got this one correct. Ring signatures is the best answer here. Not really the confidential or mounts or bulletproofs. Um, and definitely not stealth addresses. Uh, there are very select circumstances where ML SAGs, I believe, are slightly, like the teeny, teeny, tiny bit better. But I think they're for, they're for ring sizes that we're not even considering. And so as a result, CL SAGs are, are better across the board in almost every single case uh, for uh, ring signatures. So that is the best answer here. Let's see who selected what here. Leaderboard, Fishy is still killing it, but Soup took their way to second place. Diego, who when we participated in the Mineroversary trivia last year, got every single answer correct. Um, see, that's actually the real reason I threw in a curveball in the first one is because I knew Diego knew the answer. So I needed to make sure that he would get the answer wrong. That, that, I think that's the real reason. But up 15 places is the fuzz stone. Nice to see them on here. They have a, a strong uh, uh, XMR.ru Russian Mon uh, Monero community. So they're, they're a really lovely contributor there. All right, question five. How often does a Monero community work group schedule coffee chats? Hopefully everyone knows this one. Is it weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually? Again, what's the best answer here? Everyone should know the answer to this question. This is an easy one. Whenever, Doug is actually correct. The, the answer is whenever we damn well please. But the best answer among these choices is monthly. 20 of you got that correct. We do not have coffee chats weekly. We don't, we all 
I mean, we don't have lives, but uh, we, we, we come up with other excuses as to why we don't want to have coffee chats weekly. So, um, no, we, no, Vic, we do not have coffee chats every single week. So what happens is we have them, uh, the coffee chats are every month, the community work group meetings are every other week. So really it means three out of four weekends if you're uh, you know, a loser with no life, you're, you're, dead, you're, you're sacrificing those to uh, the Monero cult, of course. Uh, no, Vic, if you're claiming it's rigged now, you are not here for the start of this, uh, start of this trivia session. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see, uh, most people probably got that one correct. There's a few shifts in the bottom scores there, uh, you know, talk, coffee time and cheese are now on the board and, uh, GG made their way up 10 places. So good job, GG. All right. Next question here. Six. We're still doing okay on time. What is Monero's current? I'm sorry. Who is Monero's current lead maintainer? Is it Sniper, Luigi one 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 one, Arctic Mine, or Fluffy Pony? Yeah, Diego, your best skill actually is knowing Monero trivia. It's your, you know, it's effectively your job. Snipe is the best answer here. There was a blog post that came out. Only two people said Fluffy, so it seems like the news has gotten out. Um, the same amount that said Arctic Mine and Luigi. Uh, so, uh, yeah, most people got the correct answer there. Fishy, still on fire because they got that first one correct. They, 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 they were really the one that colluded with me here. They actually, Fishy is just my alt. You don't know my, I, I'm really trying to drop the uh, SGP nickname. So I'm trying to get you all to respect me as Fishy like, like I really want. I, I think that's really what it is. Um, but Soup, still beating Diego. Let's see if they can hold out for the next few questions here. Question seven, Triptych 2 is renamed by Serang Nother to which of the following? Triptych 3, Triptychsk, Ar Arcturus, or Macedon? We'll see if Diego knows this one. Seven people got this one correct. So this is a curveball. Serang really hated the name Triptych 2. And so, no, he did not just rename it to Triptych 3, although that would be kind of funny. Uh, no. Uh, actually, one of my original recommendations was to rename it to Trip T Y Z K, just to point out that, hey, it's zero knowledge. It has all the zero knowledge branding you would ever need because you know, of course, unless it's zero knowledge, it's not perfect. And of course, Triptych is zero knowledge. We just don't necessarily flex on that useless branding of a cryptographic term. So as a result, Serang decided that Arcturus is a much better name for the, the new Triptych version, because although Triptych 2 is similar to Triptych, there are, they are still more different than a, a different number perhaps implies, and, and they have very different, uh, different approaches. Yeah, exactly. ZK Triptych. So um, zero knowledge Triptych is Honestly, when, when he was coming with, with, with names, one of my pitches was, can you pit, fit, uh, fit ZK in there? Just because that seems to be what all the, all the cool kids do at this point. So uh, instead, he went with Arcturus. So be ready for that. I no longer need to make, take a trip to the Triptych Brewery, which is uh, somewhere in Illinois. I was thinking about taking a road trip there. If, uh, well, first of all, public health allows it. And then second, if, uh, uh, well, yeah, first of all, Oh, I think I figured out what I was doing wrong. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I was, okay, never mind. I, I was doing something stupid on my end on the streaming side of things, but I figured it out. Okay, Fishy still in first place, coffee time making the way up. Looks like Diego did not get that one correct. So Diego, you need to really do some homework here, okay? Question eight, what phone company indicated they will offer Monero mining on their phone? Is it Huawei, OnePlus, LG, or HTC? That Arcturus question was purposely a very difficult one. The fact that so many people got it correct, I think speaks volume to 
how dedicated the Monero community is that they, they even know that. HTC, almost everyone got this one correct. Um, see, Huawei just installs a backdoor that does it for you. They don't allow you, it's not an offer, it's just a demand, um, of course. So uh, HTC is the, uh, the answer there. All right, so up four places, nice. Soup is still in second place there. Fishy is still in first place. <laughs> they got the first one correct by being incorrect and they just rocked it since. So good for them. Uh, Diego's just barely clinging on and Binary Fate's making their way up in the leaderboard there by answering pretty quickly, so awesome. Question nine, what is the name of the Monero film that was the highest grossing film last weekend in the United States? Was it Monero means money, secure, private, untraceable, fungibility matters, or Monero defending financial privacy? Again, most people got this one correct. It is Monero means money. Yeah, <laughs> Vic is saying, if you follow Cake Twitter, you know this. Yes, make sure you follow Cake Twitter, of course. All right, now uh, we have just one more question here. I guess I can show that after we show who's winning going up to this. Um, so Fishy is pretty is doing pretty well. Coffee Time, though, made their way up. They're, they did really well. Uh, soup binary fate, Diego salad bar, excellent. The last question here is a fill in the blank. So you will need to type in a number on your phone um, and uh, make sure you read the question carefully. Maybe take an extra second to make sure you're, you're answering correctly for this one. And it is meant to be a question that is difficult and will throw off this, this leaderboard a little bit. So just because you're a Monero community member that's that's paid a lot of attention to the news and things, doesn't mean you're necessarily going to know the answer to this one. So get ready. All right, here we go. Last one. Open-ended. Rounded to the nearest 10 gigabytes, what is the size of Monero's unpruned blockchain size? Because, of course, it can be pruned now in the client. So to the nearest 10 gigabytes in increments of 10, what is the nearest, uh, what, what's the size of Monero's unpruned blockchain size? And just note that the answer you type in may be revealed for everyone to see. So, all right. Yes, yes, 511,000 is approximately the right size. I gave correct answer. So, um, yeah, I gave the correct answers there of uh, 60. That's what I wanted people to say. But also uh, the real number is like uh, 60. What? Uh, yeah, the, the, real, the real answer is 63. So rounded is 60. And then I also allowed 64 and 65 in case someone was, you know, putting, putting that in there. Um, however, uh, one person said 60. So let's see if they were, if that changes the leaderboard here at all for anybody. For the podium here, third place with seven out of 10 correct soup. Second place, also seven out of 10, but answered faster. And then first place who got the first question incorrect, uh, well, incorrect on purpose to get points is fishy. Oh, they didn't necessarily know that. Uh, fourth place binary fate and uh, others. Thank you so much for participating. Hopefully this is enjoyable.